Hey everybody, Pop Can Dan here. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna head over here. A little ways down, there used to be a dock there from uh, the 1900s. It was built for the, uh, for the hotel that used to be up in these trees. The hotel burnt down in 1923. Uh, there's nothing left but rock foundation from the dock. Um, I've got my Vibrotector 740. So we're gonna go do some scuba diving out here. Um, who do we got coming with me today? I got my son. He just, he just likes his hair, that's all. Uh, we have his buddy down there, Dryden. Dryden's gonna come out. I don't even know if Dryden can swim. I hope he can. We don't know if he can walk. We got Captain, the captain of the boat here, Dave. Dave's a, Dave, Dave, he's on beach patrol. So uh, we're gonna go out and we're gonna find something. And um, if I find some good stuff, we're gonna show you, all right? <laughs> so anyways, here's what I use out there. It's a Vibrotector 740. It works, it's about, it goes to about three to five inches uh, under the rocks. Works pretty good. So I'll show you what I found when we were out there, that old dock I was telling you about. Look at the size of that thing. There it is. That's a massive, massive spike. Gave off a screaming reading too. So that was the only thing I found out there. I found something else here too. Not quite sure what it is. It's all encased in rocks and crap. And, um, maybe I'll try to clean it up in the water, see if I can get an idea of what it might. So this was a pretty cool find. This is a, a rock hammer, um, or some kind of small, whatever you want to call it, chisel type hammer. Uh, I got that three feet down uh, under some rocks. That was pretty neat. That was, that's an awesome find right there. Dave, was that an awesome find? Awesome find. Dave said it's an awesome find. All right, so I gotta get away from everybody here. Uh, every time I turn the camera on, everyone's heckling me, all my family and friends. Uh, so I figured I'd come up here where it's more peace and quiet to show you. I cleaned off the uh, this little hammer, rock hammer, not really sure, 100%, but it is some kind of chisel hammer I uh, got it three feet under the water at the bottom of um, the boat uh, dock that was built in 1900 and it was uh, kind of disappeared around 1923. Uh, I found this down at the bottom. That was pretty cool. When it comes out, it's just kind of like in the ocean with coral. It's, it's encrusted with rocks and everything. So I have to take it back and uh, clean it up. And here's, here's the finished uh, final result. Very, very neat, man. I'm very happy with this one for sure. Hey everybody, so uh, remember the um, the rock hammer or the uh, the, uh, the pick hammer that I had found. Uh, my friend Dave went into this museum here, this local in town, and he was talking to them about it. I told them, and uh, they're actually interested. They they probably want it for the museum, so he had asked me to come back and talk to them about it. So I'm gonna go in, and you know what? If uh, if it means it's gonna go to a, a place where it's gonna stay uh, local, uh, I would rather give it to them and they can uh you know they put it in their museum i totally understand that i i don't i don't really want to part with it but you know what it is what it is and i think it's going to go to a better home
Okay. And then a description of materials that you have, like, Yep, sure. Sure. Excellent. Great. Thanks, Emily. Off they go. Off they go. Well, they uh, they they wanted my stuff, so they uh, I I donated it to them. Uh, that's pretty cool. I I know it's gonna go to a better home here. And I can come back and look at it whenever I want. So, good stuff, man. Good stuff.